What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 206 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And this week is the highly requested budget edition, giving you some ideas of how to improve your setup and to show you what others are working with while not breaking the bank at the same time. Now, keep in mind, as I always do for these budget episodes, everyone's term and definition of budget is gonna be different. The whole idea is to show off setups that are way more scaled back than what we usually show off. And also in some instances we have, you know, prices and stuff because people submit what an estimated budget is for their setup. Also, they might've bought things on sale, used, secondhand, all that stuff. So either way, if there's anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now, 206. And this episode of Room Tour Project is brought to you by Corsair and the K95 RGB Platinum XT keyboard. This 2020 release is gonna give us now a brand new wrist rest, all the same features you love from before, plus an integration with their Stream Deck software with those six macro keys, allowing you to do certain things while streaming and have all those commands tied together. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. All right, first up we have Dylan B. And this whole desk construction is actually pretty interesting. It's a part of one of those reversible flip like desk and shelf combinations. So here you can have it all built up. You can see as he starts to pull the bed out, the shelf while staying level pretty much just goes on the ground. So then now his setup is underneath the bed. Having that two in one combo is not only gonna save a lot of space, but kind of make it, you know, more organized in the room. And then up top he has its bed when it's fully, you know, ready for some Z's. And to show you guys, I found a little video online of how this works, this is animation. Um, I don't know where this is from, so whoever made this, please don't strike me, thanks. But yeah, you can see how it works. Shelf when he wants to have it up, and then when he wants to go to bed, close it, nice and compact so that's what dylan's working with here and as you can tell this is going to be a laptop setup so no designated pc and monitor and stuff this is the acer nitro 5 for hardware it has an intel i5 8300h cpu 8 gigs of ram and a gtx 1050 ti for the graphics card and as you can see he has the laptop kind of propped up so the actual screen is more level with his eyes sort of like where a monitor would be then he has all his peripherals attached to that so he has his own logitech g pro keyboard G502 mouse and a HyperX Cloud Stinger headset. Got the mouse pad, a little bit of turf there. But for, you know, in total for the actual peripherals, looking at around $200. And then pretty much just everything else comes into play with the actual laptop itself. So depending on what he spent on that, when talking budget, this is a really great executed setup that, like I said before, can take advantage of the reversible desk and bed kind of combo there to save a lot of space. Next up, we have Paul Z. And this is one of the more interesting setups I've ever seen. And I love the dedication and the all DIY that he made to pretty much having an entire setup in a briefcase. So th yeah, this is crazy. As you can see, all the hardware and gear, it folds up right into this briefcase. We can bring it with him anywhere he goes. And he made this all himself. So I just love seeing stuff like this. And we'll talk hardware in a minute, but first off, for his entire briefcase setup, he has three USB powered monitors. They are generic 15 inch 1080p USB type C monitors and not generic as in like they're just generic monitors, but it's actually the brand name. So he saves a lot of power by having USB C monitors. And since they are so thin and lightweight, they just fold into each other. For the peripherals, he has the RK61 keyboard in white and the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse two wireless peripherals that cut down on all the cables. And then as for his actual hardware, inside he has a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with a Noctua NH-L9A cooler, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on an ASRock B450 Fatality motherboard, and an ELSA SAC GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. I never heard of the ELSA SAC. There's a joke in there somewhere but all folds up into this briefcase. He can bring this with him anywhere. It's essentially a portable setup. So I know a lot of the stuff he said he got aftermarket, saved some money on it. Going with the generic USB-C monitors, also gonna help save money. So really, really great execution of having a portable setup all in a briefcase, loving this. 
Now we've got Coco with the dual monitor setup, but what caught me about this one was the fact that he said this only cost him around $600 total. Some things being gifts, some things finding mostly on sale or used, so he definitely found ways to save money. So for the two displays, his primary is an Asus 24-inch, with the vertical one on the left side being a Lenovo 24-inch. But you think about it, 1080p 24-inch monitors are much more affordable. That was probably only around 110 tops. Maybe even cheaper, who knows. But for his peripherals, we have the Magic Force Smart 82 keyboard, which he got for $55. Bucks, Logitech G102 mouse for $22. And the SteelSeries Quick Mouse Pad he got for $17. Bucks. So now we're starting to get some uh, price tags here he supplied. And those speakers, yeah, they look pricey, but they're really not that bad. These are the Pioneer DM40W, and they're only $60. Bucks. Now on Amazon brand new, they're $150, but again, he said he bought them used. So... Pretty good deal for just $60. That's what the whole budget theme's about, you know? Saving money, finding deals when you can. Now, for the PC, unfortunately, we don't have a dedicated photo of the actual hardware inside. So instead, we're gonna have to kind of act like a peeping Tom here. Gotta get a little side glimpse of what's going on. But this is the CIT F3 Micro ATX case, which he got for 40 bucks. Then inside's an Intel i5 3570 CPU. 4 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1050 Ti from Gigabyte for the graphics card, which he got for 120 It's all about the deals, so if this in fact did cost him $585, as he estimated, this is absolutely phenomenal for that. Just because it's a budget episode and a budget setup doesn't mean it has to look budget. This looks extremely nice, well put together and organized, and it's under $600. Now we've got Gavin G, and this one is definitely clean and minimal, 100%, but also, you might take a look at that PC and think, what's going on there? Yes, that's a DIY chassis he's got. This one just all around looks really nice for a minimalist budget setup. So for his display, he went with a Samsung 27-inch space monitor. This is the one with the really flat stand, so you could have it like kind of flush against the wall. These new are around $300, but again, just looking around on eBay and Amazon, I have seen them um, used for around $150 to $200. But this is the most expensive thing in the setup. Down to the peripherals, also not really going full budget here yet. We have the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard and Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. In total, eh, you're looking at around, you know, 200 bucks for these. Maybe cheaper, because the keyboard itself is 100, and the MX Master 2S is gonna be a bit cheaper, because the 3S is out. These are, I think, around between 60 and 70, so not bad. And for audio, his speakers are the Logitech Z150. But over to the PC, this is a really cool DIY chassis. It's, it's like open air, you know, open concept frame design. I did a pretty similar build a few months ago over the summer. The case was the Motif Monument for reference, but here he made it out of wood, so essentially this is gonna just cost him, what, a few bucks if he had to go out and actually buy wood. But for hardware, he has a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, the Be Quiet Dark Rock 4 CPU cooler, 16 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM, and an Asus ROG Strix B450i motherboard, and an EVGA GTX 1660 Ti graphics card. So definitely respectable hardware, I'd say, that comes in that budget to mid-tier level. Definitely not breaking the bank by any means, which again goes to show you how nice and clean and organized of a setup that you can have that looks way overpriced but is still on a budget. So I don't really have, you know, prices. He didn't really include an estimated price for this, but altogether you're looking probably at around $900 to $1,000 total for a setup like this, which I think is an outstanding value for the final result. And then rounding it out, we have Nino. And what I like about this is like, no, no offense, this seems just like your more average setup, but it's still pulled off nicely. And just uh, ignore that MacBook Pro in the back. That's not very budget. But we're just gonna talk about the other gear and hardware for the setup, like his 27 inch Dell monitor there. These are very affordable for 27 inches at just $110. It's also 1080p at 75 hertz. Another thing I really like, I know it's very simple and also super affordable from Ikea, is those pegboards. It not only makes the setup look a little bit nicer, but it adds a whole new layer of organization, and it just, I think, looks cool. They're definitely pretty popular, too. So for his peripherals, he has the Keychron K1 Ultra Thin Keyboard with Logitech MX Master 2S with some Bose speakers in the back. $70 keyboard, $60 mouse, $50 speakers. 
not bad at all for prices. And then under this desk is his PC. This is the Fantex Eclipse P400 case. Inside is an AMD FX 8320 CPU with 8 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on a Gigabyte GA970A motherboard and an EVGA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, which definitely seems to be the popular budget option. Altogether, I'd say estimated at around $400 total for the PC. So Nino, my one bit of advice to you would be to possibly center the monitor a little bit more on the desk it seems a bit to the left side just something with that shelf up top it all just seems off-centered but other than that you did a really good job all right guys that'll wrap it up for episode 206 of room tour project hope you all enjoyed don't forget if you saw anything you like i'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out and if you like this budget episode let me know give this video a big thumbs up to show your support and also if you want to submit your setup check the description down below as well i'll have some very very simple instructions on how to submit yours to be possibly considered for a future episode of room tour project Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.